I've known Ashton the longest out of everyone in the group. I've known her since like third grade. We were friends through marching band because she was a trumpet and I played tuba. So we were both brass players and we knew each other. And then this year she came to us and was like, hey, can you make a prosthetic for me? Because you know, she only has one hand. Yeah, it's called amniotic band syndrome. There's like amniotic bands in like the, where the baby is, the fetus. And they like, I don't know how they get torn off, but they come off somehow. And um, it like, cuts off the circulation to where like they stop growing or they like, you know, lose circulation, it falls off. Ashton came to us and asked if we could make something to help her hold the trumpet. I just walked up to him after outside the band room, outside the instrument room, and I was like, hey, um, you have access to the 3D printer, right? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, do you think there's a way we can design something that like holds on to my trumpet and makes it easier for me? He's like, well, yeah, probably. <laughs> I'll think about it. And he started just naming a bunch of things off, like how we can do it and stuff. I was like, okay, you got this, dude. For me, it was you know thinking about what it would be, um, and you know I did sort of like like think really big at first instead of you know starting small and getting better. Our main goal was just like to hold the weight of the trumpet and just to make it as comfortable as possible. And you know we started brainstorming, we started you know, thinking of ideas, we got some ideas, some of them were really bad, others were pretty good. I was kind of shocked about how fast I did it because I was like whoa. So like I told them about it, like I told them about it like how I wanted it. Like the first day and the next day, Murray's already got like 16,000 drawings. I was like, dude, slow down. Uh, Murray and Kai asked me for help on it after they were finishing the first prototype. And then I helped them work on the next ones and the measurements were doing them since it didn't fit. The first the first one was like, it was, it was really off in like the sh like size of it. It didn't, her hand didn't fit at all. It was too small. Well, uh, first this part, it's like if it's snugly right here now, but it was like out to here. <laughs> like even with stuffing, it wouldn't have worked very well because, like so it's softer. We had Ashton come in during our lunch period and we re-measured her hand and we re-measured the trumpet and then we took the measurements and we rebuilt the, the model in CAD and with the new measurements and all of that. It feels really cool that we can design something on our computers here at school and then make it a reality within a couple of days. It's working pretty well. I mean, it's working, and that's the important part. It could be working much better on many different levels, but it's working to a degree where we feel satisfactory about it. Um, of course, you should never be satisfied with satisfactory. It's pretty comfortable now, but like, as I said, it like causes some pain because it doesn't seem heavy, but after a while of pulling it, it gets kind of heavy. And like trying to like, because you have to like use more pressure sometimes, which is not a great thing you shouldn't really do, but sometimes you kind of do. <laughs> It was really nice since I, when we helped, when I helped to work on it, I didn't expect necessarily for it to go completely all the way through and work as well as it had. But knowing that it did, is a, it's a really cool feeling. It, it makes it, me feel really good, like to be able to help someone and to help them to do something in a more efficient way than they could before. They put a lot of work into it, and I was like really shocked. And I was like, I didn't realize that my friends cared about me that much. 